his road. Okay? We're going to follow this road all the way down. You're going to take a sharp left, okay, up here past this tree here, okay? Once you get up here, you're going to take another sharp turn. And over here, this is where you have me up at, right here in this place. What up, QC crew? So look, if y'all are just as shook as I am, just know that we are shooketh together to know that this couple right here is officially over if y'all do not know who ray and sean is i'm gonna give you a small little breakdown and we're gonna get straight into this video all right so ray shonda is a army vet who overcame homelessness and she opened up a boutique in her local mall in Louisville, Kentucky. That got her a lot of news coverage. She was doing her big one. She was doing a fashion design thing. Boom. Here comes LaShondra, which is a minister. Okay. Keep that in mind. She's a minister. And we gonna leave that right the f on there. So Ray and Minister Sean were on a TV show, Say Yes to the Dress, which got them, you know, fans and more news coverage. So throughout all these years, Ray's success skyrocketed, which she was already a thing and already a person and already that girl before Minister Sean came into her life. Now they do have a blended family. Ray has four children, two boys and two girls, and Minister Sean has one boy. Now, I didn't know anything about Ray or Minister Sean prior to TikTok, okay? I was scrolling one day, I found Ray's TikTok, and ever since then, I was hooked. They became my virtual aunties, okay? I was in love with this couple. They were my aunties, could nobody tell me I was not TT's babies, okay? Now, just to clear this up, I did not watch their TikToks faithfully. I popped in and I popped out. It was kind of like when you have a best friend you don't talk to all the time. But when y'all do talk, y'all pick up right where y'all left off. Like y'all never skip the beat. Every single time I came across Ray's TikTok, it was always two and three months apart. So I felt like, oh, I haven't seen Auntie in a long time. Let me go on her page, watch all 50 million of her videos, get caught up, and then I won't see her again for another couple of months. So when I opened up TikTok and seen that my virtual aunties are single, divorce has been filed, and now tea has been spilt, I was tuned all the way in. I just couldn't believe that my virtual aunties are now getting a divorce. Hey y'all, so this video is gonna be a little different. I have debated on how to say this, when to say it, do I need to say it? Um, but I just have to. With the holidays coming up and you all are already inboxing and commenting, um, things are gonna look a little different uh, around here. Uh, me and LaShondra, are no longer together. I filed for a divorce last week. What up, QC crew? King Day is in the mother build. What to do, what to do, it is your homie King Day here in King's Corner and I am back with another reaction video for you. So look y'all, if y'all are anything like me, y'all opened up TikTok, Twitter, or even YouTube yesterday and seen that was going crazy. Okay. Look, I don't know about y'all, but I'm ready to get straight into it. I caught the live I'm finna react to, but I caught it at the end. I don't know how much I missed from the beginning, but I know I missed a nice chunk. Cause by the time I got in there, she was going in saying, I didn't ask to marry her. She asked to marry me. <laughs> All right. So I ain't going to hold you. I never do. If you with me like with you you know what to do hit that subscribe button like comment share 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 we're gonna get straight into this video let's get it let go august 30th i'm backing out of the driveway me and jayla jayla says mama what's that on the front door mm. i said i don't know we get out go get it off the door it's a fucking eviction notice but y'all got money on my front door or maybe you got August 30th. 
Do you hear what I said? August 30th. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not lying. Eviction. I call LaShondra and I say, what the fuck is this <laughs> on the door? Period. She said, I don't know. It must be a mistake. Hopefully. No, we didn't buy this house. This house is rented. Okay? The house is rented by a black couple and they follow us on social media. Mm. So how embarrassing. How embarrassing. Okay? She says, I don't know. It must be a mistake. Same, listen, same day, we're leaving. I got two, I got two gigs. I got two gigs in Atlanta that I got to go to. Okay. Labor Day weekend, right? My stomach is killing me because I can't leave for Atlanta with this fucking eviction notice on the door. Correct. We get to Atlanta. I do both of my gigs. Mm -hmm. Okay. I come back from Atlanta. September 5th. Okay. I say, have you talked to the people? What is this eviction notice about? She says, I haven't heard from them. Okay. September 5th. September 6th. <sighs> my thing I get is, a you get an eviction and you know you paying your bills. What you, what she only reached out one time. I haven't heard from them. She should have been on a, so like white on rice. You hear me? She should have made sure. What is this? What is this? This, this is a, uh, this right here is a video capture card guys for you guys that are trying to, um, do reaction videos and you're kind of struggling a little bit and you don't really know how to do this or do that. Get you one of these guys. That way you can record from some, uh, software, OBS software. You get you one of these and a USB, you get you a camera also, and you'll look just like me, but now, but you go up there like, what is this? What's this? I paid my bills. My bills are paid. Correct it today. Ray is out. She had to leave. She had events. So Ray is out. And Sean is doing what? You reached out one time? What, you sent a text message or something? Baby, if you have an eviction letter on your door and you know it's a mistake, it's no way you should be sitting around waiting on them to hit you back up. I would be sending that rent office sun up to sundown because you messing with my credit, playing with my time. You got me messed up to the 50th thousand pop. And you're embarrassing me because if I seen the eviction notice from the driveway or my wife seen it from the driveway, I know the neighbor seen it driving. And if it's a mistake, now talk of the neighborhood as I was about to get evicted. Let's see what else she says. Get up and get dressed and go to the rental office. I go to Remax office, okay? What she should have done. I had to sit across from this man while he prints off all this stuff mm. and tells me what's been going on for the past 11 months. 11? Okay? Because we ain't been in the house a year. That's all I'm about to say. Haven't they been there about a year? year? They ain't even been there a year? Okay. So, so something has been going on for 11 months and they're barely even hitting a year in this home. Okay. So <sighs> I sent LaShondra the funds on August 15th. I pay my boutique rent on the first. I pay my house rent on the 15th plus late fees okay 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 i sent lashandra my money august 15th okay not only did she not go online and make the payment she waited until august 21st to take them a check August 21st, August 24th, the check bounce. This is the third in a self charge. Okay. What third that comment said bounced. 
Bitte. Bounce. You sent her your coin. You sent her your half. She didn't pay. Y'all was already going to get a late fee. Y'all already had that sorted out. Y'all already figured that. Whatever, whatever, whatever. She didn't pay on the 15th. She waited. Went and got a check. And the check had the audacity to bounce. She had the audacity to, to write a check that she knew was going to bounce. I feel like she knew it was going to bounce. But let's see. So the people filed file eviction, right? Because they sick of they sick of asking for their money. Their money, yeah. So this is me, September sixth, sitting across from this man in the rental office, telling me this. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm in tears. Why? Because y'all already know my story. Yeah. I've already been homeless. Mm -hmm. How am I homeless with money in the bank? So I asked the man, I say, what do you need me to do right now, sir? He said, I need you to pay September rent. I go to the bank. I get $2,700 out the bank. Okay, okay $2,700 mm -hmm. that I just earned in Atlanta. Okay. Okay. I take it to them. I take it to the rental office. He says, I'm not sure if they're going to let you stay. Okay. Listen, this is September 6th. Okay. That I had to pay $2,000 rent. Okay. And two court costs because mm -hmm. this was not the first time that they had filed eviction on us. This was not 11 months. Okay. That. It's not the first time. So at this point, the company, the bank, the couple, whoever they written from, whatever the business is, they rent from whoever, boo bop, boo bop, they sick of it. They don't even want the coin because they probably feel like, okay, I accept your money right now. You pay for the court fees, you pay for the cut. But then next month, we're going to be right back here again. I'm going to have to file eviction for y'all again. And sometimes people don't even be believing that both parties are not on the same page with this, with this bad type stuff. You know what I'm saying? People always think like, okay, y'all married, y'all in this together. And that's not always the case. She's married to a minister. They got money. They can afford the home. They're renting. They can afford the cars they're driving. She can afford her boutique. She can afford to go do shows. She can afford to run her websites. They can afford the life that they're living. I guess I should say Ray can afford the life she's living. Because what is Minister Sean doing with the coin? How are the checks bouncing? What? Let's let's just proceed. I had to pay two thousand dollar rent and two court costs mm -hmm. because this was not the first time that they had filed eviction on us. This was not the first time. This is the first time I caught it, but mm. this wasn't the first time. Mm. April or May, there was another another NSF, right? So I say to him, I say, sir, could you please include me? Uh-huh. Please include me since I've been left out. Because as you all know, LaShondra's a property manager, right? And that's what I was just about to say. One thing about her, she's a property manager. She knows how all this go. She know what date that was supposed to go in, what's the process of this, the eviction process, all that. I know she know. I know she know how this go. This is how I know she know how it go. I had court this morning and I won. Uh, LaShondra, you got to stop uh, evicting people, LaShondra. Well, they got to pay attention and do what they're supposed to do. Don't boop out on me. If you want to be somebody. Oh, my God. You want to go somewhere. Sing, poop. You better wake up and pay attention. 
That's what the song says. That's what say. So if you want to be somebody, and if you want to stay where you want to stay, you want to have a roof over your head, you better wake up, pay attention, follow the rules and regulations that have been given to you, signed off on, and you won't worry. You, you ain't ever got to worry about me. LaShondra. What? People need places to stay. They do, babe. And you know, I, I offer grace. As a matter of fact, there's one that I got, you know, judging on today. Like, I have been trying to, you know, you know how my heart is. I don't want to put nobody out. I know. But we've been doing this for over a year and a half, two years. What's happening? That's true, babe. So right now, so now you're taking advantage. So the fact that she don't like people playing with, with her leasing office or her rental office. But she goes ahead and plays with somebody else's. It's crazy to me. That is Delulu. That is Delulu. But what's she about to say about being a property manager? So the last three houses we've been in, mm -hmm. she has found those houses. I let her pay. I sent her my half. She's supposed to pay the bills. Okay? Because you trust Listen her. Listen to field. me. The man texted me at 930 p.m. on Wednesday, September 6th, and said, unfortunately, the $2,700 that you just gave us, the owners still want to move forward with eviction. Unless you all are out the house by September 30th, <laughs> by September 30th, it's going on your credit report, okay? Speaking of credit report, on the way to Atlanta, as you all seen in my videos, on the way to Atlanta, she tells me, oh, by the way, I have defaulted on the loan that you co-signed on in 2021. Okay? I said, excuse me? Yeah, you mean the again? loan that you gaslit me into signing for? Because I don't co-sign for I don't co-sign for nobody. My children either. I said, so when the last time you made a payment on the loan, LaShondra? She said, May, June. It's September. Okay. Now you're fucking with my credit. All the way. Okay. Now you're fucking all with my way. credit. Y'all wanted to know so bad. So that's why we all here. Hmm. Right? Okay. So. <laughs> Here we go, me sitting outside my boutique crying. Yet again. At 9.30 at night. Tuh. Because this man has told us to that out. we have to move. Yep. Okay? That's crazy. And then he says, oh, by the way, move. the sewer bill, sewer and water bill is more than 90 days past due. That balance will have to be paid also. This is in the group chat that I've never been in before. So I say, OMG, do you know what LaShondra put in that group chat, y'all? She simply said, what's past due? Question mark. You heard what the f he said. Why would you put that in the doggone group? You heard what he said. He said, we got to move out and the water and sewer bill is more than 90 days past due. So I shut down, right? I'm not talking. I ain't talked to her for two days. I still ain't talked to her. So Friday, because y'all need to write these dates down. Oh, okay. Friday, September 8th, I'm packing to leave for New York Fashion Week. Because I get paid to do what the f I do. Okay? So I'm going. Make so, <laughs> I'm packing for New York Fashion Week. Mm -hmm. And she is talking about, I don't want to go another day with you mad at me and we not talking. I said, LaShondra, my mama gambled away my money. And I ended up homeless, okay, living in Louisville, Kentucky. And I didn't speak to my mama for over a year. You want me to speak to you after 48 hours, less than 48 hours of finding out that we didn't evicted? Are you dumb? 
I'm not talking to you. My thing is, golly, Ray sends Minister Sean her coin. But however they split the bills, that's, you know, they business. I let married people do married people when it comes to them bills. Different strokes for different folks. Okay. However they split it up, she sends her coin every month. Everything is past due. Everything is late. Second eviction. Ain't been in the house in for a whole year. What is, is Sean doing with the money? What is LaShondra doing with the damn money? Where is the money? Where is this woman coin? And then you said you don't want to go another day without talking. Money talks. Cough it up. Where is my, like you're stealing from me. Because if I'm giving you money to pay bills and you're not paying bills, you're stealing from me. And we're married. And you know this woman's situation. She was once homeless. She never wants to go back there again. She never wants to go back to being homeless again. And you sitting here playing with the money that she provides to make sure she keeps a freaking roof over her head. I think, to be honest, because if you watch my previous videos, welcome if you're new. But if y'all been rocking over here in King's Corner, you know, y'all with the QC crew and all that, y'all notice a couple of the uh, masculine presenting women that I react to, they love to call me feminine. They love to call me such a girl. They love to, to call me a female, although they're females allegedly. But I'm happy to be one. Because this is the third masculine presenting woman that I have found to not have any morals or respect for their partner. This is the third one. I'm glad to be whatever in the hell the other studs want to call me. Because if the three, you know what I'm talking about, Minister Sean is now the third one. But if them other two that called me female, girl, feminine feminine stud whatever they want to call me if 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 these three masculine presenting women is what represents us that i seem to probably not be a part of because i'm i'm feminine i don't want to be a part of that anyway mm -mm. i take this feminine girly ratchet female whatever you want to call me i take it any day before I be put in the category with these my Boy, it ain't no way. Boy, it ain't no way. Bro, come on now, dog. Come on, man. So, she then, <laughs> when I said, LaShondra, I don't want to talk to you because I'm going to say something that I may regret. No, you ain't going to Don't regret. you know? That LaShondra then left her ass over into my face, nose to nose, talking about you gonna talk to me. Oh, she got gangster. In my face. You gonna get buck at me because I'm mad at you? Do you want to die? Okay? I will unalive you. Do you wanna die? She's like, I'm gonna leave before you, s I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave because you're talking out of anger. I said, no, I'm not talking out of anger. I will dead, I will put my hands on you. Okay? So, that was September 8th. That's a leave for New York Fashion Week. That was September 8th. Mm. That's the last time that I've seen LaShondra face to face. Because. Almost a month now. Not only have you triggered me by now making me homeless again. Now you're jumping in my face like my ex-husband. Now I'm going to have to put you in the ground. Do you understand what I'm saying? So here we are. I leave. I go to New York. I enjoy New York. Lost for words, man. I'm on my way back. I'm on my way back from the airport. And her mom calls. 
you know, trying to figure out what's going on. But the one thing that her mom said to me that shut my whole spirit down, she said to me, Rashonda, everybody lies. She says, everybody lies. Y'all wanted to know so bad. We know that that everybody lies. Everybody tells some sort of lie at some point to whoever. It may be somebody who don't mean nothing to you. It may be your best friend. It may be your parents, whoever. Somebody, everybody has at least told one lie in their life. Okay, that's a fact. But this is beyond a lie. You stealing from me? I'm about to be homeless. You're taking my money. Who knows where it's going? She's cheap from all I've, I've seen. And, and maybe it was just, you know, skits. And that was just, you know, a little funny thing that they did. But a couple of TikToks that I have seen, Sean was cheap. LaShondra, I want Sargento. No, Sargento is $4. So I got to get this? Yeah, so what you want? You want Kobe Jack? We need some Kobe Jack slices for $2.49. Babe, what are you doing? I want to know what this pillow do for $34.99. What's wrong with $34.99 for a pillow? What'd it do? You sleep on it. For $34.99, we can come right over and get the same pillow. They look the same to me. LaShondra. $4.99. It ain't even more firm or nothing. I go in the kitchen. Oh God. To get me something to drink. Go to bed. And I think that I'm getting you <laughs> <laughs> a Capri Sun. What the hell is Clover Valley? I don't know. Why did you buy it? You see they still in there? Ain't nobody bothered them. So they nasty? Yeah, apparently. She want a bargain. She want a discount. She want the one that's on sale. She was cheap. Like, are you taking her portion of the bills and putting it towards something else? Is it stacked up in the closet somewhere? Like, could you come to Ray today and be like, I wasn't paying a rent, but here's the money that you've been giving me. I've been saving it. I, I mean, but even then, like what? Y'all are married. Like, it, her mama said everybody lies. So her mama is enabling this behavior. She is enabling this behavior. Apple don't fall too far from the tree. That's a fact. Because you just told me that you defaulted on the loan that I co-signed on. So of course it's not going to get approved. Okay. <laughs> Listen. I don't know where it is. So here we go. So then I call my best friend, right? I said, best friend, this is what is going on, okay? She says to me, well, friend, let me tell you, do you know that LaShondra borrowed $1,000 from me and my wife? What? I said, when? When did she borrow $1,000 from my my best friend. Right. She said, about a month before y'all got married, she said that y'all needed money for finish paying for your dress and some other stuff. I said, my daddy bought my dress. I was on say yes to the dress. Okay? You think they gonna let me walk out of Kleinfeld on them? Huh? They said they thought I knew. They didn't know that I didn't know. That she borrowed money from my friends. You did. You just thought it was a gift. Yes. Yeah, she told me that they gifted us $1,000. She did not say that she borrowed $1,000 from my friends. It took her a year and a half to pay them back. And they see us out here living our lives and feeling some type of way. Because my wife owes them money. And I don't know it. Okay? That's why it's so now to communicate now, with yo folks i feel like the best friend like she said it was a gift and all that stuff but if i didn't hear thank you from my best friend mouth like i heard it from her wife who i gave the money to who asked for the money you know 
I gave it to her wife. But if I if my best friend never came back and was like, I f with you for that. You helped me get my dress. Like we needed that thousand dollars and you helped me get it. At some point, you know, after the wedding and all that, I'd be like, Was you able to get what you were supposed to get? Did you, you know, was that enough? I would have came at it some type of way to see because you my best friend. How my best friend ain't going to say thank you for supporting me in that time of need. I needed those extra dollars and you provided them. It ain't no way I would have only been talking to my best friend wife, even if me and my best friend's wife became best friends too. But if you was my best friend first, I'm like, did you, was that enough money? Do you need more? Like I'm going to hint to it at some type of way so that the conversation can start. And so that you can know how I feel when it come down to that. That is crazy. She's just getting money from everybody. Where is this money going? Now I'm livid. Now I'm livid. I know you are. I say, I'm going to lay down. I'm going to lay down. Okay. The next day I get up, I go to the boutique. I'm talking to my friend Ashley at the boutique. I'm telling her I'm about to be homeless again and all the other that I found out and you know what she says to me she says well friend I said well friend what LaShondra owes me money from June I say what she said she owes me money from June I said for what she says when her pastor, when her bishop came down, mm -hmm. they stayed at the Airbnb upstairs above the boutique. And I haven't been paid. Okay. <laughs> so then I get on the phone and I call LaShondra's bishop and I say, hey, my friend Ashley says her and her husband hasn't been paid from the Airbnb stay when y'all came down. And what he said? She hung, she said, let me send you the screenshot. She hung the phone up. Oh, it was a woman. Okay, what'd she say? <laughs> she hung the phone up and sent me the screenshot. They what sent LaShondra that money June 26th. Okay. June 26th. So if you sent the money June 26th, then why hasn't my friend Ashley been paid for the Airbnb stay? Because mm -hmm. Sean holding on to it. Where's the fucking money? Okay? <laughs> Sean holding on to it. Every time I talk to somebody, she owes them money. That is crazy. Okay? I seen a comment say it sounds like a gambling My addiction. brother. Some kind of addiction. Because what has been money? cash apping LaShondra his rent huh? for the past 12 months because he lives on that property. She ain't been paying his rent either. I mean, mm. yeah, she ain't been paying. I either. said, what Morris? He said, yeah, for the past year. So y'all tell me, do y'all think that LaShondra is going to go to the ATM machine or anywhere and withdraw that money, get a money order and run it through the system. Cause she can't run it through as herself because she works there. But it's the fact that you are accepting federal money through your personal cash app. Is she paying his rent though? Cause I'm Chandra hates Jayla. Okay, she she moving on. Hates Jay. How she hate your daughter? This is crazy. Like I told y'all before, these are my virtual aunties. These are my virtual aunties. 
looked up to these two people, like these two people. That is crazy that this is happening. Now, yeah, I get it. People grow apart. People don't be feeling the same stuff no more. Fall out of love. Possibly still cool. Whatever. But like this? This is like, this is beyond like cheating. If you ask me, this is beyond I found my wife in the bed with another woman. This is beyond that. And so my question is, she didn't say it and she probably don't want to, you know, put her brother's business out there. But my question is, I have two questions. Is she paying the rent? If she not paying the rent, it makes sense. She ain't paying nobody. (laughs) She ain't paying nobody. They money back. She ain't paying nobody bills. She ain't. So if she ain't paying his rent, that makes sense. But if she is paying his rent, is she overcharging him for rent? Paying him a portion. I mean, paying the company a portion of what he's providing and keeping the rest. It got to be one of the two. Because there's no way he's cash apping the exact rent and she's paying his bills. No. Otherwise, he could just do it himself. Why is she the middleman? Which I get it sometimes with family. You get kind of tangled up and you may just find it easier. I'm going to go and send my sister-in-law the money for the rent. She work in the office. She going to put it on the books, get me taken care of. It's just easy. I ain't got to go get a money order. She like out for me. She do what she do, whatever. So one, is she paying this man rent? If not, I could believe it. Two, if she is paying a man's rent, is she overcharging him for rent, paying his correct amount of rent and pocketing the rest? And now now she don't like your daughter. You a minister. You she don't like everybody. Talked, I found out she talked so bad about my child mm. that it brought tears to my eyes. Telling her that she needs to grow up. She don't need to be asking me for money. But my child. Still- my child. Meanwhile, your mom co-signed for your car mm-hmm. and you're 46. Who in the background sound like me? So how can you, yes, talk dirt bad about Jayla? Call her nasty, call her all kind of stuff. My baby. Why? Because Ooh. you're fucked up credit and now would you stay this married to somebody you don't know? Would you? I'm going to sue her. Yes. You are a thief and a liar and a criminal and you need to be in jail. <laughs> you need to be in jail. And I don't wish nothing but the worst for her. She needs to go to jail. She needs her ass beat and she needs to go to jail. Came up to me from LA and said, hey, Bishop, I see that LaShondra is now at your church. Mm. Just know that she stole money from our church in L.A. She stole from the. Now, look, did she tell you that, Rashonda? Now, look. I said, no, she did not tell me that. What is she doing? The bishop in L.A told the bishop in Baltimore that LaShondra took money from her church and to not have her give access to her money. Mm. So I go to Fresh Fire where we used to go to church. I go to Fresh Fire because we had our mental health awareness day. I'm supporting my friend. I go to the church. I talk to pastor after church to let him know what's going on. And he says to me, Ray, there has been three occasions where I had to talk to LaShondra about missing money. At another church. See, she didn't bet on me going back to Fresh Fire because she left Fresh Fire. Pastor says something to the effect of, you know, She needs to stop this before she goes back to jail. Now I'm three margaritas in, so I had to take my shades off. I said, excuse me, back. 
back to jail. Wait, what? Hold up. I missed something. I was caught up on Before she goes church. back to jail. She left Fresh Fire. Uh-huh. Pastor said something to the effect of, you know, she needs to stop this before she goes back to jail. She been to jail? Now I'm three margaritas in, so I had to take my shades off. I said, excuse me, back. Right. What, what? Back to jail. When has Charger been to jail? Ain't never For fraud? Me. Whoa. I believe with my whole heart. Fraud. That she sought me out, that she Googled me, that she found out who I was and what I was doing and wanted a piece of it. And she inserted herself into my life. This was a whole scam, the whole marriage, everything. My hairdresser, I told her what's going on. She said, well, friend, back in 2017, when y'all first got together and you posted her, somebody reached out to me Morty? and said, That LaShondra done ruined her life too. Had her file bankruptcy. Damn. Girl, I thought she was lying. So that's why I didn't tell you. Would you stay married to somebody you don't know? That's the last part, y'all. That is the last part. What? I, and I feel like the friend probably was like, yeah, you hating. My friend got her, you know, a little new boo woo whoop, and you just coming out the woodwork saying stuff. Sometimes... You know, you got to be cautious on how you handle those situations because it could have went left for the friends who I don't know Ray personally. So I'm not saying she would have done this, but there are people out there that feel like, oh, you lying. Um, My new boo ain't did this, ain't did that, whatever. Now, Ray probably would have, you know, took it real lightly, did a little more deep research on who she was dealing with and all of this. But I'm sure she was looking at the situation like, this is a God fearing woman. This is a minister that I'm getting with. You know what I'm saying? Not to say no research is needed, but you put your trust in a minister. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You put your trust in this minister. You thought she was a loving, caring woman, which she probably is a loving, caring woman, but you thought she was a lot more honest than what she happened to be. That is crazy. Y'all let me know if this is y'all first time hearing about this tea, about this couple. Did you follow them? What's your thoughts? How you feel about it? Um, yeah, just drop it all down in the comment section. I'm, I'm ready to chop it up with y'all about this one because this is crazy. This is deeper than, oh, I cheated on you. You cheated on me. Yeah. No, this right here. It's just so crazy when you don't see this type of stuff coming. These were my virtual aunties. I wanted to go to her um, cupcakes and cabins last year. She does it around Christmas, I believe, somewhere in December or maybe November. She does it at the end of each year. And I wanted to go last year. By the time I got my little coin up, it was sold out. And I was like, I'm going to catch it next year, which I can't catch it this year because... I got something to do, but I might try to catch it next year. But these are my virtual aunties. That is crazy. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about it. And to Minister Sean, come here. Now we all sitting here waiting on your response. Okay. When you come, come with the receipts and lay it all out for us. Real good. All right. Some people saying Ray lying on you. Who am I to say? I don't know. But I just want to know. Will you let your truth set you free? Y'all, I have really tried to make this marriage work, okay? We have been married four years. We've been together six years and I cannot in good conscience get on here and tell you all that you all deserve more and you shouldn't tolerate less. And here I am tolerating less.